Hello students. Today we're going to go over assignment 6.2 questions. So let's get started. Question number 10 says, Joyce wants to buy a home for $73,200. She estimate her, estimates her first year expenses to be mortgage interest 6810 loss of interest 971 property taxes 1585 insurance 395 depreciation $1,098, maintenance and repairs 1800 utilities 1250 She expects to save $1,847 in taxes. What will be the net cost of owning the home. So what we need to do is add up all the expenses and then subtract out what she's going to get in um, tax on her taxes to save on her taxes. So let's do that. So number, first of all, we have 600, or sorry, 6,810 in interest, uh, 971, Again, we're adding these. Property taxes, $1,585. And that. Then we have $395 in insurance. Then we have $1,098 depreciation. We have 1800 in utilities, I believe, no, it's in maintenance and repairs. And then finally, utilities, which is 1250. You're gonna add those all up and then you're going to subtract out of there what we get to claim on our income taxes, $1,847. When you add those and subtract that out, you get a balance of $12,062. And that's what she will pay net cost in the first year of owning that home. Question 11. Question 11. And question number 11 says, Patricia lives in a subsidized apartment complex for low-income senior citizens. She pays monthly rent of 297 for the unit that could rent for 650 a month elsewhere. The $650 a month, that's extra information. That's if you were not living in subsidized housing or low-income for seniors. So that can cross right off. A monthly rent provides heat and water but does not cover $42 a month in average cost of electricity. So she's gotta pay for her more, or sorry, her rent every month, and she also has to pay for her electric every month. She carries no insurance on the contents of her apartment. What are her annual costs for renting the apartment? So we're gonna take $297, that's how much she pays a month, times it by 12, because there's 12 months in a year. Gives us a total of $3,564. She also has to pay her electricity, and that's $42 a month. So 42 times 12, you get $504. And we're gonna add that together and figure out how much she spends a month, or sorry, a year, $4,068 a year. Okay. Question number 12. Tyrone pays monthly rent of $1,240 for a one-bedroom apartment in a large city, underline $1,240. He pays an extra monthly charge of $160 to the rental company for parking space in an attempt in an attended lot, underline 160. His other costs are 90 a month for electric, 
860 for utilities and insurance is 170 a year. Now make sure you realize the electric is 90 a month. Utilities, that's for the entire year and so is the insurance that's for the entire year. What is Tyrone's annual cost of renting? That's right, question number 12 up here. And first of all, he has his month of monthly rent, $1,240 times 12 months. That gives him a total rent, $14,880 in rent. Next thing he needs to pay is his $160 for his parking space. Obviously around our town, we don't need to pay for parking, but in the big cities they do. So 160 times 12, you get $1,920, and that's for parking for the year. $90 is for the electric a month. So again, we need to times that by 12. 12 times 90 is 1,080. That's electric. Next, we have the 860 for other utilities. That one is for the year, so we're not timesing that by 12. And the last thing they talk about is the insurance for $170 a year. Again, we're not timesing it by 12 because it's already for the year. We're gonna add those all together. And when you add them together, you get a total annual cost of renting of $18,910 cost for renting this apartment for the year. Question number 13. Question number 13 says that um, that they, she rents a home for 970 a month, underline that. Her other annual expenses of renting is a total of 1,305, underline that. If she buys a home, her estimated yearly expenses would be mortgage interest, 5,100, property tax, 1,890, depreciation, 2,400, maintenance, 1,100, insurance 479, utilities 1,470, loss of interest income 1,020. She would save $1,536 on income tax. Are her net annual cost of, of housing lower by renting or buying? So we gotta compare the two things. So we're gonna write rent and then buy, and then how much did she save? So we're gonna say question 13. We have rent here versus buying. Under the rent was the first two things that we underlined. Um, she had 970 a month and we're comparing for the year, so we're gonna times that by 12. And you get 11,640, that's her rent. She also had utilities and that was for the year. So, cause annual means year, $1,305. Add the utilities plus the rent, you get a total of $12,945 under renting. Let's go over to buying. Buying, we have to add up all the expenses and then we subtract out how much she can claim on her income tax. So let's add up all the numbers. First, you have the 5,100 plus you have the 1,890 plus we have the 2,400 Plus you have 1,100, um, 
then we have insurance, 479. Utilities, 1,470. Next, we have 1,020. And then we're going to add that. And finally, the last thing is the income tax. So we're going to subtract that though. 1,536. Add, add all those together, subtract out the interest or for the income tax, and you get a total of 11,923 dollars. So buying 11,923, renting 12,995. Did we answer the question? It says the annual cost of which one is lower? Um, buying is lower. And then it says how much did they save? So we have to subtract the two of them to find the difference. The difference is $1,022. So it's $1,022 cheaper to buy. Again, these are all estimates. Um, if something breaks down and you own your own home, you do have to fix it. Whereas renting, if something breaks, you can call the landlord and they will fix it for you. All right. Last question, question number 14 for this homework. Question number 14 states, Carol rents an apartment for $640 a month. She pays $120 for insurance and $820 for utilities yearly. She can buy a home about the same space for 52,000. If she buys the home, she must withdraw 10,400. You don't really need that information, so you can cross that out from her savings account. That's already gone. Loss of interest uh, interest is 624, underline that. You're going to need that later. Her other home ownership expenses are estimated 9,300. She also estimates that owning a home will save her $1,428 in income tax. So question 14 says, what is her total cost of renting for the year? The renting was that the first thing I read, 640 a month. So let's times the 640 a month times 12 months for her annual rent of 7,680. She also has $120 for her insurance. She has $820 for utilities. We're going to add those together, get our total cost of renting $8,620. Question number 15, they just divided this out for you. It says, which costs more, renting or owning? Well, we know how much it costs to rent, but we don't know about owning, so we're gonna have to figure that out. And then how much more? So let's put owning here and go through the numbers. The first number that I see is 624. That was for the interest. Then we have the 9,300 in other expenses. We're gonna add those two together. But then we have what we can claim on our taxes, so we get to subtract that out, $1,428.
So which one is cheaper? We have 8,400 um, and 8,620. So Elaine is cheaper. Oh, but they ask which one costs more? Renting costs more. So we read renting costs. So be careful when you read these more. And it says buy how much? Well, we got to figure that out. So we got to figure out 8,620 minus the 8,496 gives us a difference of $124. So buy $124. That's it. So hopefully you checked over this, all these questions. If you still have a question that you don't understand, please either text or email or call Miss Field or myself and we'll help you figure that out. The next, so this is the end of this video. The next video will be the quiz and I will just read through the quiz and give you some hints on the quiz. So watch that and have an awesome day and I will be safe, you be safe and stay home and be nice to your family. Have a good day. Bye.